Welcome to August Lico Challenge. Today's problem is range sum query immutable. Given an integer array nums, handle multiple queries of the following type. Calculate the sum of the elements of nums between indices left and right inclusive, where left is less or equal to right. Basically, we want to create a num array class, which initializes this object with the integer array nums. And we have a function, sum range, that takes the left and right indices and is going to return the sum of all of those elements. All right, so this is a pretty simple problem. Uh, say that we're given some integer array like this. Uh, what we want to do is create some sort of extra data structure that's going to calculate the sum from left to right. It's going to accumulate the sum going left to right here. So what would that look like? It would say like negative two. Uh, we add zero, so that's going to be negative two still. We add th three, so that's, now it's one. Now it's going to be negative four. Now it's going to be uh, negative two. And now it's going to be what? Uh, that's negative three, right? Uh, and the thing is, we're going to have to have an extra value here at the beginning for zero if we're just going to um, be adding in this value as well. We're going to have one index value minus one. So essentially, what that means is say that we want to calculate the sum of zero to two, like this sum right here. Uh, we'll just take the sum that we have at three right here and subtract by uh, minus one of that index, so that's zero, right? So one minus zero is equals one, and indeed we can see the sum is equal to one. Same way here, if we wanted to find the sum of this, uh, this would be zero, right? So we take negative two and subtract it by um, negative two here, which is plus two, so that's gonna equal zero. Okay, so let's begin. All we need to do is uh, create some sort of lookup. Uh, we'll call this cumulative, and we are going to, let's see, accumulate, all the nums here. We're gonna have to reconvert this to a list. And keep in mind, we need that extra value in the beginning for zero, right? So zero like this plus. Finally, just to return the sum range, all we need to do is return uh, cumulative right subtracted by self dot cumulative left minus one. I believe that's correct. So let's make sure this works. Oh, negative three, hmm. Okay, so I think I screwed that up. It's actually just like that. Yep, okay, so that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go, accepted. So initializing this number array class is gonna take O of n time, but calculating the sum range is basically O1. And that's it. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.